The Royals, the White Sox, the Rangers, Giants, and Blue Jays are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It is Wednesday, August 2nd. We're talking FanDuel, and we're doing it right now. First up at number five, we've got the Orioles taking on Yusei Kikuchi and the Blue Jays. 4.1 run implied total for the Orioles, but we like the price tags here. 6% chance at top stack, 11% chance at top value. You're getting what looks like nine righties against the lefty in Kikuchi. You have obvious high-end talent. Like, I think Ryan Mountcastle looks really good at 3K as a first base option. Santander and Jordan Westberg both have MPEs. Ramon Urias has a triple MPE. Adley Rutschman transcends catcher. You can certainly stack him, especially if he's potentially in the leadoff spot. I really like Baltimore today. Is the ceiling as high as some of these other teams? No, but are they cost effective? Absolutely. 9% chance at top stack, 6% chance at top value for the Cubbies taking on the Reds and Brandon Williamson. Now, Williamson is not very good, and that shows 5.2 run implied total for the Cubs. They went bonkers yesterday. Hopefully, they can do it again here. Eight righties against the lefty in Williamson. The only lefty that the Cubs have, Cody Bellinger, but he's got an MPE, so that helps out a little bit. They've got four MPEs in their projected lineup, including Christopher Morrell, who's got second, third, and outfield. Huge flexibility, really nice ceiling, and the matchup doesn't get much better because Brandon Williamson stinks. But I actually like the red side of this one more. 8% chance at top stack, 9% chance at top value, taking on Drew Smiley and the Cubs. 4.6 run implied total here for Cincinnati. They're running out what looks like nine righties against the lefty in Smiley. The first five guys in their order have an MPE, including Nick Senzel and Kevin Newman, both having triple MPEs. The flexibility here for Cincinnati is crazy. You can mix and match these guys in a major way. Even someone like a $2,900 Christian Encarnacion Strand at third still looks like one of the top plays. He just doesn't have an MPE to look as good as the rest of these guys. But looking at this game just in general, you're probably going to want to want some piece of either the Reds or the Cubs. If you're looking for ceiling, you probably want the Dodgers. 11% chance at top stack, 5% chance at top value, taking on Hogan Harris and the A's. 5.6 run implied total for the Dodgers. They are minus 300 in this game. Massive favorites. Triple MPE for Mookie Betts. Triple MPE for Chris Taylor. Triple MPE for, for Kike Hernandez. Miguel Rojas also has the double MPE. And I haven't even mentioned guys like Freddie Freeman or Will Smith, who or Max Muncy for that matter, who it doesn't matter if they have an MPE. They're just really good plays. The Dodgers look great. Power plays up massively in this park. You're not going to find better, better spots than the Dodgers. Folks, there is a link in the description of this video that will give you 50% off our MLB package for the first week. I've got it on the screen right now. You can see it. MLB Premium Weekly, normally $18.95. If you use the promo code, you're going to get it for 50% off. Look and see what you get. Projected fantasy points, ownership, top stacks, top batters, top pitchers, and the lineup generator. The lineup generator alone is going to be what you're looking for. If you've wanted to come and sign up at Stochastic, you've never known if you should do that before. That's what's behind the paywall. That's what you can do as long as you click the link in the description of this video. Finally, we close it out with the New York Mets. 12% chance at top stack, 10% chance at top value. The best combination of upside and price taken on Cole Reagans and the Royals. 5.3 run implied total for the Mets. Not as much flexibility. You've got the MPE on McNeil, the MPE on Danny Mendick, but it's just the general upside. Nimmo, Lindor, Alonzo all stand out in a big way here against the Royals. Now, the park does play down power in a pretty major way. It's got like an 80 park factor to righties and to lefties for home runs. And with that said, it still doesn't matter. They're still coming in in the number one spot and the rest of this stack is really easy to get to. They're the second best value and the number one stack. This is the easy spot to go. Grab yourself some New York Mets. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, August 2nd. DraftKings version around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight. Win some money. Back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.